this is December 17th, and let's talk about 25 days of Christmas. Today we're talking about all of the rain. No, wait. All of the other reindeer. And tomorrow we're watching uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Um, we're here with the fourth person, like I said in the last one. And I still have my cake. He's our Rudolph. Say, yes. say hello. Oh, hello there. What do you want me to call you? Uh, 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 I don't know, you decide. Okay, I'll call you Guava. That's your okay. name right Um, my actual number. We got the famous YouTuber Guava Juice! No. Yeah, he's my actual number. I thought you brother. sounded kind of white. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. Maybe we all sound white. We're all just white moms at heart. Yeah. You know what? Oh, well, There's a slim white shady mom. in all of us. Let's all stand I, up. I'm just realizing I haven't said anything yet. No, no, you haven't. Um, so I know that, and okay, so this is the part, oh, and I'm not sure if you know, if you've seen any of these episodes, but this is the part where we usually talk about our experience about the movie. I know, growing up at the house, that we had like a, we had like a pop-up book, right? Of the, like, of the, because it was based on a book, and we had the pop-up book of it, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you remember that, you were like really young. What? Wait, what movie is this again? Olive, <laughs> the other reindeer. Yeah, that one. I didn't even know. It's about what? the dog who wants to be a reindeer so that she can help oh. Santa. Oh my goodness, I remember this movie. Oh. Cartoon Network used to play it all the time before they became dirty hacks to okay. ignored everything good. I know everything about this movie now. Okay, continue. Okay. <laughs> I remember, I remember that book specifically had like a scratch and sniff thing for like gingerbread men. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like that book. Yes, it was very nice. You know, they were gonna make that movie in like regular CGI, but they decided against it to keep with the book storybook style. Mm -hmm. If you want to see what that looks like, the there's a movie. picture of a rare olive figure that would have shown the old style. I absolutely love the style of this movie. It's an, It's amazing. Really nice. I can't believe the creator of The Simpsons directed this. What? Yeah, what Matt Grishnick, the Simpsons guy. He made oh, wait, all I the other reindeer. <laughs> wasn't it? I wasn't completely it? forgot he pulled the IMDb. Oh no. It wasn't all, wasn't all <laughs> of the other reindeer. It got started all over. Uh, I, every, every time. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we're, we're good. We're good. We can keep up with this. I just gotta... Oh my god. I legitimately did not mean to... I didn't plan that. Hold up. Wait, I didn't mean to plan that, but this came out on December 17th. And that's when this podcast is going on. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's <laughs> I didn't mean to plan that, but... We Weird. did it perfect! <laughs> Alright, so when Santa's, Santa cancels his annual 1999. flight because of a hurt Maybe reindeer, a young Christmas living dog named Olive... Woman, I swear. I can't be just talking over you. <laughs> When Santa cancels his annual flight because of a hurt reindeer, a young Christmas loving dog named Olive is convinced she has what it takes to get Santa's flight off the ground and save Christmas. Yeah. This is a good movie. Yeah. Or special. Or okay, whatever. I'm gonna say this. The penguin is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Martini, Martini, I love him. He's amazing. Is that it enough? I kinda like the mailman, though. Some, dang, Mm -hmm. Cancel Lanetta voiced him. He's the voice of um, Homer Simpson. Oh, yeah! Of the huh. Simp oh, yeah. I can't believe uh, the Gundy. creator of The Simpsons did all that. Uh, again, he didn't direct it. It was Steve Moore who directed it. Wait, then, but didn't he, like, create the movie, he though? I think, he I think he produced it. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, looking I'm trying to look at the IMDb to see if I can find anything about it. Hmm. Bop, bug, and hum. Oh, here we go. Full cast and crew. Uh, yeah, I used to watch this a lot growing up. Uh, one time when we didn't have cable, uh, I, I watched it on a continuous sleep like all day. It wasn't even Christmas time. Ah, well then. Hey, it's a good movie. Like it is a good movie. movie. Just I like this movie. Walk. Yeah, it's just it's a good movie. I like the Tick character. He's probably my favorite. I haven't seen it in a few years. He's a flea. Trust me, I've seen oh, this movie. Oh, flea. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, Matt Greening was an execu executive producer. Oh, so he just takes the credit it for it. 
What? Billy West was a in the- A producer is someone who tells the artist what to do, and by the end of it all, they take all the credit. <laughs> and Snippy just... taught me that. This is full of Simpsons people. Hey, Billy West is in this. He was on yeah. Mr. Eskimo. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Yeah, that granny bit of voice too, but Art Arvo? Arvo? I don't know who that is, but apparently he was in this too. He, he, uh, he made a, uh, Wasn't he the know. big burly guy who wanted the cordless drill for Christmas? Cordless drill? Hey, I relate to that. <laughs> I could use a drill. I mean, have you ever unscrewed something? Yeah. I don't know, maybe. I had to put a I had to take apart and put back together my Nintendo 64 not too long ago, trying to get everything to work properly. Yeah, I, I ordered um that thing had I ordered like some three game screws. I ordered some game bit screws to uh, fix my SNES cartridge of Mario World. Uh, yeah, it wasn't even just coming... game bit. I had to figure it... out what torque the screwdriver head it... was. Because the game bit is only for the shell. You gotta get another was, um, screwdriver just for the uh, just for the internal screws. Oh, like triangles, the triangle ones. Not even just that either. You gotta also uh, get the other ones, just some standard, oh, but, you know. But um, I ordered I ordered some game bit screws for SNES cartridges, and off of Amazon from Hong Kong. That was um in about March, so. Yikes. Mm. Yeah, they, they saw it because, and now that we're moved, I'm never getting another so. Any day now. <laughs> I've got a game bit screwdriver head. head. Just can't throw them to the money. Well, it's on my old Amazon account without Prime, so like, they were like four bucks. Uh, I'm like, oh. I, got, I got it from a gift card anyways for Christmas time. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, it was January when I ordered it. What? You might as well just order a new one. Yeah. Maybe like... A cheaper one, closer into the states. It's not so far out. Yeah. 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 Yep. So, yep. we're gonna go watch a movie. Yeah. Guess Probably. Bob, bug, and hum. This is gonna be so nostalgic. My God. You're only thirteen. How can you do this? Man? Because hey, I walked here with like five. Level. <laughs> you don't even know how old it makes me feel. I want to say when you're like, oh, that's so nostalgic. I'm like, oh my god. Shut. Hey, at least you weren't born the same year as this movie. Hey, he pro. Hey, I'm your brother mean. probably probably thinks that Zootopia is nostalgic. Hell okay? no. Okay. <laughs> Zootopia was a great movie. People. I mean, yes, it was a great movie, but it's not nostalgic. Okay, it's movie. It kind of is. I mean, it's, it's okay been movie. I mean, four years. I mean, it's an okay movie, like, I can see why people would like it, but, you know, and why some people, you know, really like it, but, You're just you know. jealous because Fennec is only in it for, like, ten minutes, aren't you? We're gonna go watch it, we're gonna watch it, this is chaos, we're gonna watch it, Mike. Santa had this to say. Ho ho ho! I'm not sure if I'll have to cancel, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. But if not, Merry Christmas anyway. Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? He said maybe we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. You silly flea. No, he said Olive, the other reindeer. I heard him. Santa needs you to be the replacement reindeer. We're back. Always a beautiful movie. It is yes. better than I remember. It was very nice. I liked it. I liked it. The art style is very cool, actually. It, some parts are weird because it looks all fuzzy. Yeah, no, I think that's because the quality. I love the, the Deus Ex Machina joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's where Deus Ex Machina is how we're gonna get all of this recorded and finished. The, st <laughs> the style. The style reminds me of Parappa. Kinda. It do. It do. I mean, they're both about dogs who want to be bigger than who they are. Oh my god, they want to be bigger? Yes. Oh my god, Pop, it's you, because you're short. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, him. I didn't mean to come back. The one thing I don't <laughs> get... 
why does it have to be canceled because Santa can't do it? Because people are still sending their Christmas <laughs> cards and their gifts and things, so... The only reason he can't do it is because, um... Blitzen, I think, he broke his leg, so he couldn't and how, how, do how it. Is... Mailmen don't have the authority to enforce, uh, to get a job for mail fraud. Yeah. Citizens arrest? Yet the police do that! And the police weren't even intervening. They were just letting him do that. <laughs> I guess mailmen could essentially... really do whatever they wanted. As we learned in Jingle All the Way, the 90s had a lot of people sending bombs through the mail. They didn't learn that oh. because that recording isn't there. What? Oh no! I told you we could get out of here. I know I told you. I've referenced this multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> What are we gonna this do for that just, then? This movie is just Santa's over is um Santa gets cancelled on Twitter. Oh uh, pretty much. Um looking at our list, what do we got now? We got wind. Got about eight more movies to go. I was I mean, while he was doing the repair since I went to college for computer repair and uh he's like Okay, so you gotta go through the decaffeinated de de decahedron, and I'm like, why does he have to mess with a coffee 12-sided die? <laughs> a decahedron is not a computer machine bar. That is literally... <laughs> I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go to the trivia. That's literally a 12-sided yeah. die. <laughs> I used to think was like the nerdiest thing in the world until I learned about the 20 sided die. And then I learned about the 40 sided die. Two minutes. And the 120 sided die. Oh my god. What game are you playing that you need a 120 sided die? Are you just the boss fight in your Magic the Advanced Gathering group? No. That's a really intense boss fight in Dungeons and Dragons. You ain't getting. What's that? The Beholder's life stat? Oh, cool! One of the falling letters. One of them oh. is addressed to Bart Simpson. Oh. oh. Hmm. Have you ever heard of Deus Ex Machina? That's new. I'll look it up. It's from the moot, the thing we just watched. Okay. Oh. You were there. I love yeah. that line. Uh, our team is amazing. Oh yeah. I mean, the mailman's an entertaining villain. I like how it's, yeah. I like how it, like he I like how it's... He literally just committed vehicular manslaughter. Well, attempted <laughs> vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> I mean, the truck didn't explode, it just burst it open. I mean, yeah, yeah. but then it decorated some Christmas trees perfectly. No, it wasn't manslaughter. Manslaughter if it's oh. an accident. That was just, that was I like, intentional. I like how at the beginning the monkey was using It was attempted manslaughter. I like how at the beginning the monkey was using a nail file to escape, and then all the, and then at the end of the movie, all the monkeys were out of the cage. Just out of the Also, if. If he hated delivering the mail so much, why doesn't this post office have multiple mailmen? Yeah, why couldn't he just quit? Like, my post <laughs> office has, like, multiple, because I can recognize their faces. We don't know each other on a first-name basis, though. Because how do you start that conversation? Just like, oh, hey, it's that mailman. Oh, hey, it's the other one. I mean, <laughs> it's like when I used to when I used to like play Yu-Gi-Oh a bit more often. I would like get a new card or whatever about once or twice a week. I'd buy the singles to build decks, and then uh, I wonder if they just looked at me like he's got another envelope. I don't get why they feel this way. Cause you know, you gotta put know. the card in the top loader, you gotta keep it safe, you gotta keep it fresh. I can't have my obelisk the tormentor being bent. 
Who? He was one of the Egyptian gods in Yu-Gi-Oh! Why are we talking about Yu-Gi-Oh? Because mailman! Oh yeah, speaking of cards, um, this one guy on stream, he was forced to bend one of his packs of Pokemon cards, and he drew a $300 card. Oh! You mean, you mean, um, Circle Tunes HD? No, it's a different person. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel that! It was the freaking, um, um, Gigantamax Pikachu, Rambo Rare. Oh. You know, you, you know what you know what happened to the one that uh, Circle Tunes HD on YouTube. On what? what happened? Okay, he was bending the cards. Like, um. Even if it's like okay, a he, ten he, cent he, card, I hate bending. His, his, his chat forced him to bend, bend, bend like entire packs and like in half. Okay, he God. got a, he got a full art, a full art hop, and he bent that one. In the pack. Then immediately after that, he had been another one, and it was another flawed hop in there. Oh my god, he could have saved it. No. I saw I saw one of them. Someone someone gave him like a hundred. It was a different streamer though. They gave they gave him like two hundred dollars to burn a pack, and then the like the only card that actually survived what was was, was what was left of a of the like. The, the really, really rare Charizard card. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, the only my. thing that survived, all the other ones no. were just like pure black, and you could see that one, and it was like half burned. Oh, isn't, that, isn't no. that like thousands of dollars? Yes. Oh, no. I, I mean. <laughs> I, no. I, I like get anxiety over bending a cheap card. If. If I had a card that rare and it got damaged, I don't think my heart would take it. Oh my god. I'd just goodness. straight up die right there. If... <laughs> just straight up die. I mean, I've never Dude, had I... a card that rare. The closest I've had is like a $40 Yu-Gi-Oh card. I had I had an electric total dial. I would well, I just down. cry. I, Friend of I mine just... had a shiny Rayquaza that I learned even if it's damaged, it's still worth like 90 bucks. I I would just I would just take the card out, uh, t t tap out the fire, and then sell it on eBay as a quote unquote misprint. Uh, for me. <laughs> I'm even too anxious to open up some of my packs that I got over the last couple months because I don't want the cards to get damaged. Good. Yeah, I just wow. have a stack of Pokemon cards in a drawer that I've never opened. Open the drawer. No. I... Because I really need to get some sleeves for my cards. And I need to find my Pokemon card binder. Uh, I wish we lived close, because then I could just give you a binder that I have. Uh, I have sleeves as well. The problem isn't that I don't have a binder, it's just... I... I have, like, no room left in my room. I've just got so much random crap here. Oh my god, I me. literally had to I had to put, like, my Pokemon cards behind a door behind a drawer. Because I have this really weird... I have this really weird drawer with a mirror on it. Huh. So they got, like, this little compartment. There was a doorknob on it, but that fell off. But you can, you can like, use a coat hanger, really get in there, and then I can pull out my trading cards. Uh, all, all, all of the <laughs> reindeer... All of the reindeer aged really well for a 20-year-old... 20 21-year-old movie. 22. It's from 99, though. Yeah, yeah. It was from 98. It was from 98. Oh, it was from 99. No, it was 1999. 99? Yeah, it was 99. Oh my god, same year as Spongebob. And me! Yeah. I'm nowhere close. I am old. <laughs> like what? You're, you were born, like, what, last year? No, 1999. I'm a little brother. Oh, oh. Screw it. I wanna say... 2007. Okay. Suck. Yo, and that. <laughs> oh, 
wonderful year. We're going year. to 14 next month, and that just... I don't like wonderful that. Wonderful year for pickles. Oh, it was, it was, it was. I remember that year. Oh, oh, I don't know if I ever told you this, but, um... I have a VHS, right, of Mythbusters, and it's so cool. It's like a New Year's thing. Literally, it was recorded a few days before you and um, Finn were born. Finn's his twin brother. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. I forgot I was going to call you Guava. Oh, too late. Yeah, it's all right. We can work that in. We'll yeah, say yeah, that yeah. he's a smoke monster from outer space. But yeah, what? It, it, yeah, but it literally was... Um, it's like, New, it's like Mythbusters 2007 New Year's block or whatever. And it was literally for a few days before you and Finn were born. So I think that was pretty cool. I like that one. That was really cool. I love Blink Tape so much. I have a VHS so tape from Christmas 2002. Ooh, what's on it? It had an ad for Resident Evil on the GameCube. Yeah, I, 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 um, I already talked about mine before I mentioned it again because we were talking about what we got on Blink Tapes ads and stuff. I got um, a Mario World ad on a VHS so it's like during Christmas. It's like a Christmas VHS Ooh. of Tiss a Gift which was, I think, pretty, I'm sure it was the premiere of Tiss a Gift. Very wholesome special. We'll look it up on Creative Shirts on YouTube. If not, look it up on like, some kind of website that I cannot say in fear of that getting shut down. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely look that up. It's a really so, wholesome special. So I just figured out something new like just now. I hmm. have the same day of birth as Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps. Huh. Same huh. birthday as Danny DeVito. Pretty spooky. I have, and the I have, nostalgia critic. I have the same birthday as uh, as, as, as this one guy who I knew since the day I was born and literally we graduated together. Like literally. Literally, like, we are, like, hours apart, and <laughs> he's in my baby video, and, like, I, I still talk to him in, like, high school. And when I graduated, he was there. But I'm lost touch. Where is he now? I really don't, no, I don't, I don't talk to people from high school. I hated everyone in high school. Every, you mean the person you should be with? Well, not everyone, but most people I hated. Uh, looking back, I had some very problematic friends. Oh, <laughs> one who was homophobic. Same oh, no. here. He was also biphobic. Is this the same thing, kind of? Like, I, I, like, was telling him, hey, you know, uh, in the new Power Rangers movie, they say that the Yellow Ranger is LGBT. He's like, what does that mean? I post, I showed him, like, the thing, and he's like, what? She's one of those sick people? I'm like, dude, chill out. Go. Power Rangers is at ruined. That, at that I'm exact like, moment, just freaking slap him across the face and tell him to get out. Well, I couldn't do that. We were in our school's comic book club, or anime, or gamer, whatever Jimmy, we called so it that nerdy? day. Why <laughs> are you so nerdy? I love even, it. even his voice. It's amazing. Like, we co-founded a club that started to do, like, trading cards, but then we, uh... Then we decided it'd be better to get other like nerdy things, you know, comics, anime, Manga. retro games. Manga. We even got to play Smash Ultimate on like the day of release. Oh, my goodness, yes. Nice, nice. Uh, I remember like, oh wait, hold on. Did I graduate by that point? I don't know. I think I might have came there to like visit, check up on the club or whatever, but now we can't do that. I can't go check on them because the world is bricked now. Ah, uh, the Backstreet, ah, uh, the Backstreet Boys. Dang it, Backstreet Boys. I just want to see how my club's doing. I just want to see those vintage Magic the Gathering cards. Just to People think huddled we... around the TV playing Melee. Just the X-Men we... cartoon that played on the projector that nobody actually watched. Whack. <laughs> such a cool club. So many neat sense. ideas. We, we could have contained this the freaking COVID virus. What? So Dude, much you can't earlier. say it. YouTube will do the money bad. It's, 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 we don't monetize. 
freaking sent it. We're not just freaking sent it. We could have freaking um ended it so much earlier because freaking five people in the news were infected by it. But no. The Backstreet Boys uh. just had to have their world tour, didn't they? Yeah, had to have it. back, all like right. Backstreet Boys, my goodness. What about the front streets, they just had to. They just had to go and listen to the concert everywhere, and we, we don't talk there. about those guys. Now everybody's out. Now <laughs> you see, you see people walking down the street just singing the songs, and it's not good. You, Am I original? Gotta, yeah, you yeah. Gotta ear, you gotta wear your earplugs so you don't catch the the earworm. Yeah, but some people say the earplugs don't work. I got a stress. What? Ball. Oh, they can't hear. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they're immune to the music. We don't know. No, 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 no. What does no, 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 this podcast become? Well, you yeah. know, if they get rid of the podcast, you know, the way they gotta do it, they're gonna play microchips to track everyone, even though literally everyone can be tracked by their, you know, social security number and their online devices, which track them way more than the government could ever do. I mean, how do you guys, you guys like all of the other reindeer? I liked it. Ah, uh, okay, it was good. <laughs> People are complaining about vaccines. <laughs> People are complaining about vaccines because oh, they're gonna ch- put a microchip in us. You want muscles? Like I'm literally gonna put a chip in your brain. Take it from like, oh, me. Yeah, cool. Researches computers. Microchips that size would be so big and noticeable they wouldn't fit through the syringe. Because yes. That's why. Unless you could get it to shrink to the point where only an ant could feasibly put it together, then you guys have been trying to date things. So, 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 um, they were talking about some other terms of mine, just talking about, like, oh, you know, um, they're not gonna force me to take these shots, whatever. I, we're not communists, we aren't forced to do things. They say as they, you know, drive down with. The following the speed limit, you know, following the laws that we have enforced. Come on, people! Stupid. It, it, it's, a free, it's a free country. No, it's, it's a free country. I'm just gonna go get my McDonald's that isn't free. Yeah, it's just cause caught that. Never mind. I remember. I remember. Um. Hey, word of advice. You want more bang for your buck? Go are, are for just the trying to date medium. It? The medium drink at McDonald's, Pop, but not at Burger Pop, what do you King. Mean? Pop, what do you mean by dating it? We, I literally say the date every, every intro. And and remember, I'm me. Uh, 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 what was I gonna say? Wait. Uh, Take your time. Cabbage patch. A, a large at um, Starbucks is a medium at Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks they hold the same here. amount of liquid, so just get a large at Dunkin' Donuts and have more coffee. We don't have a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh yeah, I forgot about we that. We do? Uh, There's one a town across from me. <laughs> I like we don't Donuts have for miles. I, yeah. I, I thought about it before. I was like, oh man, I want to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I've never been there before. So I looked, tried looking it up on Google Maps. What the frick? Like, there's none of them. Their Boston Cream Donut is amazing. You want to go to a Starbucks? You just go, literally go outside and you'll see a Starbucks. I know. <laughs> just go to a freaking like, Safeway or Fred Meyer and then a boom, freaking in store Starbucks. Yeah, you can't go anywhere without finding a Starbucks. The Starbucks anywhere? serve food, or am I remembering wrong? The yeah, coffee. they sell, uh, they sell, and food, yeah. um, yeah, like, like, pastries, cookies. Yeah, they sell pastries, pastries breakfast, food. they sell pastries, breakfast foods, um, so and they also like, sell, like, cake pops, muffins. I, I want to well, survive off of them. eating just a bag of cheese. Uh, they, have, they have cereal straws there. Don't ever insult them to the Kindle, they're not real cereal straws. Those are just a device to try to play off to the 2000s nostalgia. They are not real cereal straws. Don't ever say that again on this podcast or I swear to God, I will kick you off. Anyways, yeah, I'm hey. sure next year I'm working. I smell a lot. I'm like, oh, I want coffee now. 
But then I can't go, but I can't go inside. And then I have a drive through and I and I walk to work sometimes. And I'm like, oh, well, hey, I can't just walk up to the window. Hey guys, have you seen Star Wars yeah. cereal straws? Hey. I'm just gonna kick him from the. Oh God. <laughs> Put the gun down. <laughs> I was trying to see if we can actually kick you from the call. Put, put, <laughs> put the gun down. I just He's need powerless. To but, um, no, but, but like, seriously, Starbucks kidding, are everywhere. Gun. Starbucks are everywhere, dude. There's well, we so run a bit. Cannot go, you cannot go anywhere without seeing them. And only can confirm that because we live in the same state. Because, you know, my yeah. brother still yeah. lives in the same house. But, you know, that's the reasons that are yeah. too complicated and depressing to go into right here. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, that, that's for another video. Actually, probably not. <laughs> for no, that's that's for the drama life. Yeah. Sorry, Squidward. I can't do that. I don't have a whiteboard. That's for the oh, narrate what? my life because because you don't have a whiteboard. I can draw, kind of, but not really. Can, I'm actually. Can you buy a whiteboard at the Dollar Tree though? Um, sometimes. I mean, at this point, you could probably buy one at Starbucks. <laughs> hey, if you ever feel bad about cereal straws, just remember it took them like 10 years to bring back strawberry milkshake pop tarts. Hey, that just means you'll only have to wait like maybe one more year. They came out in like 2009. And it's 2020. 365 more days of torture. Just. <laughs> Just, they, like, they, pester they, them on Twitter about it. I've tried. Hey, 1, that's, how this, that's how the Strawberry Milkshake Pop-Tarts came back. Everyone on Twitter just pestered them about it. They, when they, they weren't they complaining want, that their Pop-Tart was wrong. They, they hey. 1,000 without zero straws. I can't make it much longer. Like, I saw this one guy <laughs> on uh, their Twitter page say, You didn't put talk filling in my Pop-Tart. Have you How ever tried? <laughs> One guy opened up a pack and didn't have anything. No. I have not feel that the pocket <laughs> Oh, sorry. One. <laughs> have you ever tried the strawberry milk in school lunches? Yes. I'm you got strawberry milk? Day, specifically. Yes. I want strawberry milk. Strawberry milk is the only school milk I drink. That's mm. true. So it's my good. School, in my school, you were allowed to get two milks. And um, I remember they had this like, disgusting milk. It's all they had. It was just disgusting milk. And everybody hated it. And I remember telling everybody, like, get two milks so they'll run out. <laughs> you can get the regular milk back. That's what they said. They said, we don't wipe to get rid of it, so until it's out, we won't come back with the regular milk. I'm like, until you are telling anybody, like, get two, you know? No, yeah, nobody our drank school, the white milk. Our school would, terrible. like, give you, they'd give you little juice cartons, but only on certain days. Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't forget, if you don't have money, you know, they'll, you know, they'll just give you a granola bar. And be like, here you go, you don't got money, here you go. Hey, at my high school, they would give you free calzones if you put in your school code. Literally? Okay. This is being really political, but like, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, no, it's cool. Public school is terrible. Yeah. But, um, I heard this story from me. It happened to a um, family friend. Child. Um, they got their lunch. They didn't have the money. So they literally took their lunch away from them. <laughs> they're like, oh, sorry, they just took the lunch from them. Like, well, looks yeah. like you don't have money. would just bite their hand. Like, they couldn't just be like, like, oh, well, you don't have money. You can take that today, but, you know, bring money next time. No, they just literally ripped away, and they threw it right in the trash. Dang. Um, I'm finally <laughs> done with that brain surgery. Guess I gotta pay for it. Hard declines. Well, guess I guess I gotta rip the brain out of my skull. <laughs> well, oh. I would have just oh, been the head of the people. 
sure you would have probably gotten to the office and an infection, but it's worth it. Because mm -hmm. you can't get enough of those mozzarella sticks they had at the school. Am I the only one that didn't like school mozzarella sticks? I think I haven't had any. I remember my school having these, like, this, like, like, I don't know what it was. It was like, it had, like, this meat. cheese thing. It was, like, wrapped in, it was like a tortilla, but it was a different texture. It was chewy and had the warm cheese I mean, in it. Yeah, we had like this meat that was like, it was like almost like a teriyaki, I think. I think it was like a type of teriyaki. It was really good. I don't know what it was. Um, I don't know if this is my specific school only, but um, they gave us chicken patties on mashed potatoes with the best gravy ever. Oh that my, sounds my like school, something my school did. My school's chicken burgers. Oh my God. They're so good. <laughs> One time when I got a school pizza, it had double the cross. Oh, school, school, school breakfast school. pizza was amazing. No, no, like, it was weird. It was like, they had the- Really spicy what? They gave us spicy chicken burgers. It was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. School pizza, like the, 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 the square school pizza, just it just hit different, man. Oh, I don't really like pizza. Ours wasn't square, though. Ours was, like, round, but it had a- Mine got extra dough under it once, so it was like double the size, but you would just peel off the extra skin or whatever. Oh, um, the pizza pies and pizza. round pizzas, oh. Do you eat your pizza with or without the skin? I liked um, I my with school burgers. I liked my school burgers until one day I took a bite of it, it was just like this weird barbecue burger you now. I'm like, oh. So literally what I would do oh. is I would, I would take, I would take Buns, right? Take them off and just throw them toss the burger aside, you know, but that little bit, you know. And I take the fries and I just like, throw it. I like wrap up the fries with the bun and I put them in the ketchup. It was actually really, really good and now I really want that again. Fries weren't even like fried. They were just like they were just chopped up potatoes. They're yeah. just called they're called potato wedges. No no, they're I not ask... they're not even like potato wedges. That was another thing. Oh, they were the pre cut fries. fries, but they weren't like fried. <laughs> they were like baked. Yeah, 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 my arts too. Arts fries were gross. They were like oh, yeah, super they were crunchy. So, they were like soggy, but yeah, I like soggy. them. Soggy, like you, gra you grab a fry, it's soggy. You grab, you grab the exact same kind of fry, it's freaking crunchy. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like it's like... <laughs> a lot of people say that after uh, Obama came in and Michelle changed the lunches, people noticed that uh, some of the food got different. Oh yeah, definitely, no, because it got more healthy. Do you guys know yeah, more? Yeah, they used to give like huge cinnamon rolls as dessert. Then it oh, got they still give us, they still give us, they still give us that, they're still so good. No wonder um, public schools are so, are, are, where, um, it was so awful public schools. And like, complete, like, schools right up cha changed in, like, um, I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. to get ready for school. And then, like, um, eat like half the time with really bad food with such little portions. No wonder yeah. it's like a completely different school than they are. It's like four dollars. I like, I had, I was poor, so I had like, the, we had like a free lunch program where you can get lunch for free, right? And but I would hear like, I would hear and I'd like see the prices of the lunches. They're like four dollars every day. For the most part, I just brought my lunch from home. Hold on, Alexa. How many days are in a school year? The dates for school calendars vary from school to school, and from school district to school district. Check your school's or district's okay. website for Alexa, your school stop. calendar. Alexa, stop. Okay, let's say there's 100 days. 100 days? I straight up... Just... My voice cracked. I straight up thought I was about to dox you. <laughs> That's your exact location. Um, hold on. Alexa, what's 3.75 times 100? 3.75 times 100 is 375. That's how much you'd probably spend on average every year on a lunch. I mean, that's going off 100 days. And that's not even, like, it was just stupid. Like, why, like, the free lunch program? I don't know. Why are we talking politics like this? This <laughs> is not. How is this politics talking about school? Yeah. About public school and how they're massively underfunded. And how they constantly have, like, budget cuts and, like. The way I see it, they need to cut the administrators. They're holding them back. How much security do you need? How many people do you need for middlemen? 
do your podcasts okay. always do this? Just transition from a kids movie all the way to freaking politics? Not always. No. That's what Most of the time we go from a kids movie to a Nickelodeon show to a real life event. Um, okay. Yep. Okay. I know I've told you two this story. I don't, I don't know if I told you this story. But I know I don't think I have said it on this podcast. So I have a story about of school. Which is just... <laughs> okay. So if you're a guy or a biological guy, um, you know that when you're using your urinal, you either use the far left or the far right. Never the middle. Unless you're no desperate. Middle. Never use the middle. <laughs> ah, there goes my stress ball. Never you. Oh, there it is. I'm using the. Okay, so I'm at school, right? This is why I don't. This is why I never use the bathroom at school again. By the way, I, I go into the urinal. I think it's um the far yeah far right. You know, three urinals. One of my old teachers walks in, and he just comes in and starts using the urinal next to me. Just casually oh. starts just using it right next to me, not the not the, the, the far left, but the middle one right next to me. I'm trying to avoid eye contact and looking down at the same time. If that's not bad enough, he tried to small talk with me. <laughs> hey, that's that what me and my principal. <laughs> Pretty much it was. He was just like, he was just like, so oh, nice weather we've been having, huh? I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am I am at eye level with your crotch right now. I am not comfortable with this. <laughs> I um I remember in like elementary school, if you used the stall and someone was like next to you, <laughs> they would always try to small talk with me. <laughs> Literally, we just sit next okay. to each other and just. Okay. We just, just sit next to each other. Just, oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to pee in our urinal that has a Gatorade in it. Okay, I don't want to have small talk. Um, I was, I was, you know, you're sitting next to each other and it's just like, so what's your name? <laughs> Yeah, that was that was, was like, elementary it's school. Like, it's like weird, like in like school, because you're you're in one stall, one kid's in another stall, and you're like you just like become like temporary, or like 